Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, digital infrastructure, and the networks within. I am here today with Millard Shaw. He is the Chief Technology Officer of IT Savvy. They are the parent company of INOC, and INOC provides global 24-7 managed network operations center support and consulting. Millard, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. And so this uh, this week here, we know that IT Savvy and INOC are breaking news here at Metro Connect, so we're excited to talk about that. You're launching the company's Ops 3.0 platform. Can you tell us a little bit about INOC solutions and then also that newest offering? Yeah, so uh, thank you for having me. And, and INOC solutions has been around for 24 years. Uh, we've been providing managed NOC solutions and uh, consulting services for all that time. Uh, We've had iterations of this platform over the last 24 years. Uh, Ops 1.0 that was released in 2010, uh, which was very similar to most of the offerings that you see in the market today, uh, where it's really a human-driven process, where it's really a ratio between the number of technology devices we manage to a human correlation to it, to how many people you actually have to support it. Um, we evolved into Ops 2.0 in 2018 and that was an evolution to kind of take the, the human interaction part out of it and really kind of have leverage AI, leverage machine learning, and really kind of develop models that allowed us to detect issues at a mass pace. Right? It gave us scale, it gave us the ability to manage millions of devices, millions of alarms, and bring it down to a single issue that somebody could work on. Ops 3.0 is the next generation where we've been doing AI and machine learning for the last eight, nine years, uh, we're now looking to use this to actually resolve issues and communicate with our clients proactively. So one of the biggest concerns and issues we were having with the last product was, great, we can detect these issues really, really fast, but how, how well can we communicate with our clients what the issue is, what the expected time to resolve the issue is, and, and can we even resolve these issues automatically? So. Ops 3.0 was really that uh, that innovation that we just came up with today. Excellent. That's great. Thank you for telling us about that. Yeah. Very exciting. Um, and now let's dig in a little bit more about that. Can you tell me about what this does in terms of the few of the most important considerations for CSPs? So automation and integration, scalability, security. Yeah. I mean, all of those things have one thing uh, that kind of glues all those pieces together, which is it's really about interoperability. In the world that we live in today, there's millions of different types of products, millions of different types of solutions, but there's very few platforms that can manage them all in the same way, shape, and form. And that's really what IT Savvy and INOC have been focused on is really this Ops 3.0 platform. It's an AI ops engine. And one of the biggest things that I will tell our client base and, and providers out there today is AI is not yet mature enough for a lot of other providers, but we've been in that space for 12 years. And it's very much a solution where it's about time to market and uh, amount of time in the market. Uh, we've been working on it for so long that it's given us uh, a speed to market in sense that we've been developing these models for 12 years. Now with the onset of Gen AI and things like that, we're able to leverage those things at a mass scale and kind of go to market with new products and solutions much quickly. So really feedback for the CSPs and the providers out there, leverage providers like INOC that have already built this skill set over the last 12 years rather than try to reinvent the wheel themselves. Absolutely, and Gen AI, everybody's talking about it, so you yeah. are in a great position at this point with a lot of people uh, that are probably gonna wanna talk to you after this interview. Yeah. Um, and finally, I want to know a little bit more about that AI piece. So can you tell us a little bit more? You said now it's been several years, 12 years you've yeah. been in that space. So yeah, what's what's new there? Yeah, I mean, AI has been around for a long time and there's a lot of different types of AI technologies. Obviously, the most recent one that's become very popular is generative AI. It is hitting the consumer market. Kids are using chat GPT. Everybody knows what it can do for you. It's another thing to actually apply it in the enterprise space, to actually use it in a secure manner and truly drive value and outcomes out of it. Our, we're already working on Ops 4.0. Uh, our, our most recent uh, development there is we're actually using some of the generative AI capabilities 
and we're training this chatbot. It's a, we call it conversational AI. And it's essentially learned 24 years of our knowledge base that we've been in the industry of and can actually interact with humans and can resolve problems. So much so that we've actually solved 30% of our tickets by having no humans interact with it. Wow. Right. So it's been a really exciting time and yeah. we just know that that's going to get, that number is going to get higher and higher and higher. Yeah, that's very exciting. Well, thank you for sharing that yeah. with us. And thank, thank you, you for being here today on JSA TV. And thank you to our viewers watching. We are live here from Metro Connect 2024 and happy networking. Awesome. Thank you for having thank us. You.